Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Austin, and welcome back. We are going to woo Sayaka right now. We're going to leave the room right now, and we're going to woo her like... Woo! Woo! Yeah, no, not really. Uh, let's go off this way. Whoop! Whoop! Oh, her room was over here. Whoop! Oh, there it is, right next to our room. We walked that so far, I just pressed the doorbell. Ding dong, dick a dong. Um, listen. Oh, no. <laughs> that sounds like the rejection incoming. You know, Sa Makoto, I'm so anxious, I really am afraid. Maybe I should talk to Sayaka. Hell yeah. Um. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. Oh, no problem. No problem. I did my best trying to comfort Sayaka. Oh, we grew closer. Okay. Yes. <laughs> There's got to be something I can't have showed up without a date. I mean, a present. I mean, it might not be a date to her. Okay. I don't think I have shit. Well, I'm sorry, honey. I don't have, um... Uh, yeah, maybe not. I wish I did. Oh, wait, my bad. I, uh, yeah, I'm sure. Do you think you can make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, well, I, it's just, I guess that, that was kind of formal, but it's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um. If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I would do. I'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're here, where you're here with me. Sayaka. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that, it's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I... I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. Ah. Really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile that smiles. That softens my heart and hardens. I really wasn't that. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. Hmm. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how did you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. This, yes, guys, our chances just went from zero to 79%. Yeah, 10% more. Yeah, you thought, I'll, yeah. Huh? I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But... But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my most biggest regrets. But why me? Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird that wandered into our school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. Hmm. It was out of a fairy tale. The turtle wants every million years, the bird wants every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been a... Oh shit, fuck. No! No, I can't. It can't hinge on this. All right, guys. This is it. The fucking the the let's let's um uh all right. I'm just going to It was a uh, heron, wasn't it? Oh no. Fucking shit. No, dude, we lost our chance. No, not quite. It was similar, but even bigger than that. Like a heron, but bigger? That'd have to be... 
Oh, I get the try again. Oh, oh, thank goodness. All right, a bigger bird. Uh, Sparrow's not... Oh, Jesus. Now I gotta show my intelligence. Ah, fuck. Hold up. Yeah, hold up. Pretty sure it was a big ass crane. Yep. It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right. That's what it was. It was so big. The teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you let it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. You see. I should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured. But... Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we just met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that made that would make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird, shitty school. I... Maybe, but still... I am sure you help, you'll help me find my way out. Just like that crane. You'll save me. You see... It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> kidding, kidding. That, that looks straight from fucking Corpse Party. No, I don't believe you. You're probably going to fucking throw me up against the wall. She laughed out loud as she said it. Yeah. The stronger that smile of hers makes me. I was glad to feel that way. Yeah, it's very comforting. Her report card has been updated. Oh, nice. I'm the teacher. Fuck you guys. The Melodious Boys. All right. Looks like our first day is over. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Yes, we did. We should probably make friends with the fucking ogre. I mean, the the street fighter, the ogre, and probably save ourselves um, a big fight in the future. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such... It is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay yeah. then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I think I'm going to skip that in the future because I've already seen that. Today's already come to an end, but I swear, tomorrow, I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear! Alright. Yeah. I swear I'm going to go to sleep. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I'd had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is, is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school this, the same way I did. So I can't say I feel thanks the way she does. Compared to her? No. Compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt that I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Yeah, we're alone. Like, we're the only one that's not special. Ahem! So, I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but... Wait, whoa, whoa, hold up. Wait, who... There's still room for a little slaughter, laughter. It seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. Up, up, up. So when shall it begin? When 
will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pounding excitement! Indeed! Ding dong, bing bong. It's now. Good morning, yep. everyone. Get ready to greet us. Yep, we know. Morning has come. What should I do today? Oh, yeah. Get some free time. Nothing's changed. Nothing changed. Let's take our pairs before we go today. Yep, all right. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, let's see. Um, I would like to say let's go and spend some time with her, but all right. I guess there's nothing to do. Actually, no, 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 no. Hold up. Let's check our map real quick. Check our map. Okay, dormitory first floor. That's where they're at. Um, who's in the room? Is that Toko? Maybe we should go talk to Toko. Yeah, let's go talk to Toko. That's what we're gonna do. Hello, Toko. Anyway, my whole life is one unpleasant experience after another. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't. I don't want to hang out with you, you fucking weirdy. Aw, oh, man, Jesus Christ, that weirdy. Hey, it's this guy. I don't want to talk to you. Yes, I do. What are you doing here, Makoto? We gotta hurry up and find a way out of here. Hmm, maybe I should not hang out with Leon. I think we're gonna try, um... Uh, let's check the dining hall. We haven't had a chance to go back in here since Since we were last in here. Let's check it out. I see lots of chairs and no one's in here. Great. Can we um Go in here. Maybe someone's crafting a sandwich. I See the fruits and the veggies and the pepper over here. I'm very bad at rhyming It's a deli style display case. There's all kinds of food and stuff lined up inside this place nice I got a coin. I got a coin, damn it. Ooh, fuck your monitor. Oh, I see some knives. Yeah, let's give this to Sayaka. That will definitely help keep her safe. Kitchen knives on the wall. There's a whole bunch of different kinds. I had no idea you needed so many to cook. There's a camera here, but I... Oh. Uh, yeah, look at these colorful vegetables that have been stacked in a huge pile. So many different kinds. All the super healthy, I bet. Still, I'd rather have some cake. Yeah. Nice, another coin, sweet. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Leave the kitchen? Yes, I do. I do want to leave the kitchen. Now let's leave this place, because nothing's changed. Uh, yep, nothing's changed. Leave the area. And we've done it, guys. We have left the kitchen. Ah, there she is. You see? Yes, I want you. Just kidding. Yes. Yes, we yeah, let's, let's spend some time with her. Yes. She's already into us, and we're into her. Spend some time chatting with Sayaka. Yes, we grew a little bit closer. Not really, no. We want to get anything special going on? Oh, wait. Wait. No. Okay, still lots of time. Okay. So, the Okay. Damn it, I should have noticed. Um, I'll go back and look. Oh, I guess I'll have another chance. I just noticed that um, I should probably keep track of what's going on at the top left corner. How the daytime changes. You know? To see, like, if this... Okay. We have different things we can do. A lot of people scattered throughout. Let's talk to you. Most unfortunate. Does this school not have dry cleaning service? How terribly upsetting. What am I supposed to do if my clothes become soiled? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? There is nothing to be done. Normally, my pride would not permit me to allow you to be alone with me. But fine, I will allow you to entertain me for a while. All right. I killed some time with Celeste. It was pleasant. No, I don't have anything to give you. Huh? What is it? <laughs> My perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is power 
which can overwhelm any strategy. There is. Indeed. That power is luck. Well, we're the fucking best at luck. Yes, fuck you, Celeste. Let's go right now. All your life savings. Luck. Actually. There are only two types of luck. Good and bad. There is no in-between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is, luck is life. Well... Do you see what I'm saying? You mean... That's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. This is why I have never lost. So that's all there is to it. <laughs> you are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps see exceed my own luck? One day, I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. Have a nice day. Without a word, she left. I'd say my life's been getting more bad than good lately. Gambling's probably not a great idea for me. Yeah, I think your luck would just run out. Get the fuck out of here, you achievement! Celeste report card, your maximum skill has been increased. Number of skill points has been increased. Hey, look at me go. After parting ways with Celeste, I headed back to my room. Yes. Hmm. I hope I'm not missing anything. I feel like... Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yes. Yes, it did change. And since it's nighttime, we had three things that we did this day. So there's three different sections. Yes, we, we've heard you. Fuck off. Soon the doors Fuck off. To the dining okay, then. Goodbye. The third day has already come to an end. I still haven't ate. And when will I... No, we... When are we going to get out of here? When you kill someone, obviously. And you, you know... Fake it so no one else knows. I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. Manakama Theater! Theater. Theater. I need an immediate fast acting pick-me-up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their life on it. Oh Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or angle. Freestyle is better than a backstroke or breast style. Breast style. <laughs> Drive through is better than a sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I am saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, I see a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a, a two to the tenth to the negative six power. Please don't let me. Yes, that's right. Two to the negative six power. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Get ready to. Another beautiful day. Another beautiful dollar. <clears throat> Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue just piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, did ding 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 dong. The sound of my doorbell forced its way into my room. Yeah. That actually has a handle now. Maybe I just didn't notice it. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Hey! A fantastic morning, isn't it? T Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. I'm ready to cut you! What's up, Taka? <laughs> no matter how intensely the storm seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Uh, um, I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you. And if you can support them back, and you can support them back, you hear me? that's how you overcome any storm. Oh man, I heard you. Oh fuck. It's just, it's, it's fucking morning hopefully not a monday 
I was thinking about it last night and I decided we all need to really come together. And that's when I realized every morning from now on after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen. And now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. Got it. That's all for now. I have to get to go and let everyone know the great fucking news. Taka didn't even wait for me to reply. He turned around and left before I could even say a thing. I wanted to say fuck off, but he left. Well, I guess I'd better head to the dining hall. All right, off to the dining hall. Off to the dining hall. We're walking this way. Oh, no. I don't want to be around her. I'm joking. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Yo. <laughs> I got turned around. I'm going to stop singing. You probably already. Hey. Doing all right? Um, What's Toko? your problem? What? Oh, I, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You probably should You should probably head to the dining hall, right? Uh, I, 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 I just need to... No, no, no. Mental. Um, are you okay? Prepare herself? What is she talking about? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> that laugh. What was she so nervous about? I have no clue, but this would be a good time to change those undies. Okay, maybe not. And you just showed up out of nowhere. Hey, get the fuck in the dining hall. Uh, so freaking tired. I mean, seriously. The hell's wrong with that guy? <sighs> did he wake you up too? Yeah, he sure did. I guess he's going around waking everyone up. You know what I mean. It's seriously annoying. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. If anyone needs me, I'll be back in my room. I don't think it'll do any good. I'm sure he'll just come bug you again. Give me a break. Yeah, probably. Damn it. I guess we'd better just go then. And that's that. Yep. Let's check down these two hallways. Oh. Junko, hello. How are you doing, Miss Junko? Makoto, can't any of you guys get a freaking clue? Huh? Are you for real? My mascara is totally clumpy. I don't want anyone to see me this way, but Taka came and woke me up. What a dick. You look just the same as yesterday to me. Oh shit, you're about to get smacked. The hell are you talking as if it's like night and day. S -s Sorry. Aww. I seriously need to reapply. But there's nothing I can do about it now. Maybe I'll go see if Celeste can hook me up. And that's that. We've been in prison here, and that's what she's worried about right now. Yeah. Let's go to the dining hall. Oh, no! No, I should have checked the other area. I should have checked the other area. Well, actually, every... Wait, is everyone here? Yeah, everyone's here, actually. So, one, one, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, there we go. All right, everyone's here. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. What the fuck? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> to bring everyone together for a breakfast meeting is a very talk, Taka-esque suggestion. Yo. Yo. Good morning. <sighs> Let's this just sucks. hurry up and get this over with. Talk is getting anal, antsy. What's your problem? What's the point in talking to me? Talk is the one who got everyone together. I'm sure he wants to talk. Hmm. <sighs> Fuck. I'd rather be ignored completely than suffer that kind of insult. Hi, Makoto. Good morning to you, Makoto. She can even make a basic greeting feel eloquent. Somehow. That's the power of a celebrity, I guess. Hey, um... Is everything okay? Uh, oh, yeah. Good morning, Sayaka. Uh... But more important... Okay, okay. If I absolutely must talk to you, let's just hurry up and start this stupid meeting. Taka's gonna throw a fit. Yes, he is. No, you in the back. Mm. Good morning. If Umi, you don't see too. Oh, very sad. How can I be? I got woke up by the annoying, obnoxious, nightmarish guy. This is why I hate 3D so much. 
Ah, ha, ha. Hey. Yes. Oh. Uh, Good morning. They're all just gonna say hello. Let's. I might as well finish it off. Hey, Makoto. Morning. <laughs> breakfast time. Breakfast time. Gotta eat a big breakfast at a breakfast time. What? What are you looking at me for, Mr. Goody Two Shoes? Is running the show. I'm looking at you all. Perhaps it would keep me entertained. We'll make well, make life with everyone a bit here more bearable. All right. Oh no, I'm hey. sorry. Fuck. You. Listen to me. Okay. Looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our first breakfast meeting. It's the Breakfast Club. Quiet down and listen. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Give me a break. I didn't make time for this shit. You dragged me here. Hmm. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is the breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning at their morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. Yeah. <laughs> you want, want me to eat breakfast with other p people? I've never done that b before. I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. But more important... Well, anyways, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed throughout the dinner hall. Seriously? Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything... It can be about how to get out. What? Or who's doing this? No one has anything, you motherfuckers. Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? What the fucking fuck shit? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! W what the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Like, adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, sounds what? like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of shit! No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out here right now. I mean, later. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Feel free. Huh. Uh... Okay, so nobody has any clues. What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it, it could be something like that, but for now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Uh, um huh. huh? What's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, you think maybe this person responsible for this? Could it be a certain murderous friend? Fiend? A murderous fiend? Chihiro, do you have some idea who might behind, who might be behind all of this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but Got it. certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you ha may have. You know? Uh, uh, okay. Well, have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that ser serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? <laughs> the monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims and brood brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him hmm. Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean... Even, like, ten people would be totally insane. Mm. Oh. Wait. That was weird. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he's really this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But... But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything, it's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're... If they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah! It's okay. Everything's absolutely, positively, 100% without a doubt going to be okay. C 
because help's going to be here soon. I'm sure of it. Huh? Help? Because, I mean... We've been stuck here for days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they get, they're worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> What's this? The police! You're putting your faith in the police? Bastard. What are you doing here? You guys. you guys, seriously, do you understand what role the police exist to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them and that shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? If you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill. <laughs> what the hell? Why the hell are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're, you're still going on about that. You're fucking So, dead. Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard Ass Cunt Lick, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard... That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Hmm, maybe if I ignore, ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun and a couple of days have gone by and nobody's killing anything. Anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together, but I am totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. Sorry. No. There's nothing you can say that will make us start killing each other. I got Wait, it! I think... Yes! Ding, ding, ding! I figured it out. In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here, right? People. Right? place so why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet that's what i couldn't understand but i just realized there's one very important piece missing what are you if you want to know i'll tell you it's motive <laughs> it's so simple i just have to give everyone a motive stop fucking around motive what the fuck are you talking about um, oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch. Stop changing the goddamn subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Hmm. Oh, but don't worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hello. <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good. Then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do any of that, I'd like to know. Hmm. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Despair, that's all. Well now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out yourself. Hmm. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within this school. I won't try and stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as heck to watch you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> So I guess I want amusement from you too. Um. He's gone. And once again, we left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really, I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in our way of the pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However. Perhaps, but what about the video he mentioned? I am very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so, Mondo started glancing around the dining hall, but when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah! Hey, Makoto! Check this out for us, would you? Huh? Why me? Yo, 
Because you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? A, a, a rule? Jesus Christ. <sighs> hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey! Piece of shit! Hey! Stop fucking around! You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just get check it out real quick. Uh, uh, oh, okay, okay. I guess I'll get going then. Hell yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Yeah, you do owe me one, you fucking dick. You fucking punched me, you douchebag. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on the both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you will. That's why you wanted to go in the first place, right? I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I... I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. Yeah, he just really has some, it really just seems like he has some problems with the whole man attribute, like he's trying to fulfill some type of role or something like that. So then, where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but if it's a place to set up to watch DVDs, then, uh, then nothing. Well. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I know where it is. We had a fucking video room, remember? And I couldn't go in there before. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly. Where is it at? It's right here. Right here. Right here. And guess what? This is where I want to end it off. Aw, oh, man. Got something really interesting behind this door. Next time, guys, we're going to see what this video is. He promised it's not porn, so don't worry, guys. Other than that, I think that's all for now. It's really interesting. It seems like we're going to have some type of motive. Uh, maybe uh, seeing that the world's just not giving a fuck about us might encourage us to do something. Well, with that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.